everybody, I'm Lady Red with Lady Red's Tech Reviews, and today I'm going to tell you why I hate this Stylo 4 from Metro. Worst device I've had in my hand for an extended period of time in a long time, and I'm going to tell you why. So stay here, leave a like on the video, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to my channel, ring my bell, get all the notifications for the newest videos. So, I got a Stylo 4 from Metro. I did not go to Metro and get it. I got it from a person, reset it. I've been playing with it. I'm trying to find something about this phone that I like. Not finding anything, y'all. Nothing. Absolutely nothing about this phone that I like. So, I tried to like the camera on here. No. All of the pictures... Um, they just look blurry and out of focus. Um, do you remember like years ago there was like these glamour shots you could get where they kind of frosted over looking? That's how everything looks on this and I don't like it. It's not very clear. Terrible color clarity and sharpness. I've done everything I can to adjust. Uh, don't like it. Don't like the camera. So, okay, that's one thing that I just really can't just don't. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Like, everybody, this video, okay, I've tried to like the Stylo 4 because I keep hearing all this stuff about Metro gave the Stylo 4 away for free. Well, y'all, there was a reason because it's a piece of shit. All right, I don't like it. I don't like it even a little bit. Um, I've tried to play games on it. It crashes. I'm going to show you here in just a few minutes. Um, so stay with me. I'm going to show you a little game. I've dusted off Darkness Rises. Actually, I put three different games um, on here because phone gaming, mobile gaming is becoming a bigger, you know, trend or whatever. A lot of people like to do, especially, you know, graphics intensive games. I would not dare put PUBG on this. Um, I've tried Assassin's Creed, which I didn't even just like. I just didn't like the game, but you know what? It crashed. Um, when the game is loading screen turns off I don't get it I've never seen a phone that did that the screen will turn off and you gotta start all over again it takes forever you gotta keep that screen on because the screen timeout does not automatically disable um, something else it crashes did I mention that uh, I did a live stream with this um, links gonna be right up here but I did a live stream with it and it crashed three times in the live stream I've never had a device that did that and I had a very, you know, I've had a variety of phones. Right now, I'm recording this on my Motorola A5 Supra. I have a Motorola XP right over here. Um, I have live streamed with my tablet, and I have live streamed on Facebook with a Blade X, a ZTE Blade X, and with a LG Rizio 2 people, and none of them. I mean, I would be on for an hour. Um, one morning, I think I did four hours. I was on a tarot marathon, and I was on for four hours and never crashed the first time on my Blade X. Stello 4 crashed three times in 30 minutes. I actually ended the live stream before it could crash again. And there were people coming in, but seriously, three times in 30 minutes. Um, I've tried... Uh, let's see, okay, the Assassin's Creed, and then I put Game of Thrones Conquest on here. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. So I put Game of Thrones Conquest on here, and it's just a glorified city builder, and it crashed. Crashed. Um, I put Darkness Rises on here. After several attempts, it finally ran the game, and it would run it for about five to seven minutes before crashing. I don't get it. What do you people that got this thing from Metro think is so great about it? Have you never had another phone? Because this is horrible. This phone is absolutely horrible. Okay, I'm going to show some pictures I took with it right here. Okay, so this is taken with the Stylo 4. And it's just not that great. It's, it's kind of out of focus. There's not a lot of color clarity. And this is the X Pure. Okay, same time, same place. I put one phone down, picked up the other. 
and you can see a huge difference between the two. Okay, so, got the game going. After I had to sign in a half a dozen times, because for some reason, it kept signing me out. And considering I haven't signed out, I don't know why it was doing that. So we're going to let it load all two gigs of RAM with the less than stellar Wi-Fi speeds I get here at work. There we go. Look, my character has wings now. And see, look, I get this a lot. I don't get it on any other device, and I've got this game on different devices. Gotta throw all that. All right, let's just go play around. I don't want to do that right now. This is loading okay. The graphics look okay. Okay, so part of the reason that you see this game a lot on my channel, number one, because I like it. Number two, it's very graphics intensive. It takes a certain level of RAM and processing power just to run the game. As you can see, I'm getting started loaded. I've got sound loading 100% and it's just sitting there. So we're just going to sit here and wait for it because it's loaded as it says 100% and yet yeah, here we are. And the screen, look, see, crash just like that. That's why I don't like this. Crashed. Can't even get the game. You can't even play the game for all the crashing. I mean, what's that about? Now we are on the Cricut Stylo 4. Let's see how this does. We're starting from exactly the same place. I mean, a different place in the game, but we're going to start from the same screen. It's going to love trying to keep that glare and my reflection off of there. Yeah, I've got a different character on this one because I like to do stuff like that. What about it? Not as far along in the gameplay. Loads fast enough. It's a lot faster. Just don't point that out. That extra gig of RAM. Still have it crashed. We've loaded a couple of times. No crashing. Let's get into some actual gameplay. Because we can't get into the gameplay in the other one. Why? Because it crashes. I'm going to skip all that. I do love this game. A lot of my viewers have started playing this game. Which I think is just cool. It's a really good game. I don't play this one quite as much because, you know, this is the work one and, you know, this is at work and not really supposed to do stuff like that at work, so but I don't play this one as much, so I'm not as far along in the game. But as you can see, it still plays, it still does everything it's supposed to do, you know, but the Stylo 4, not so much. It keeps crashing. Like, after a few tries, I can get it to kind of play a little bit, but then it'll crash. And this one, it's very smooth, great graphics. And this, you know, if y'all have not played this game, this is a very graphic intensive game. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it off right there. You've seen enough. Style of four from Cricut, better for gaming. Okay, so here I have the Metro Style of four. Observe, right there it is. And here I have the Cricut. Stylo 4 without the demo mode. The demo mode is not enabled on this one. Now, what are we going to do? A little speed test. 
just so you can see and so I can see the difference between these two devices because I hear it so much. Metro gave this phone away for free. There's a reason, y'all. This phone has lower, is, is, is a lower spec phone. Two gigs of RAM, three gigs of RAM. Let's see if it makes a real difference or not. All right. So we're, we're gonna do, I've got everything tucked away in folders in this one because it gets on my nerves on the screen. So we're gonna open up where we have the calculator and all that generic stuff there. So, and over here, same folder, okay. Cricket, Metro, calculate. Let's, let's see, let's clear everything out. Let's make sure everything is cleared out so we can be fair. All right, and over here, you can see I don't mess with this phone very much because I don't like it. I've tried to like it, I just don't. All right, folders are open. One, two, three, calculator. Same. All right, what's next? Contacts. Where's contacts over here? Right there, okay, contacts. One, two, three. Cricket. All right. And see how fast the camera opens. One, two, three, camera. Oh, Metro got that one. All right, okay. Quick memo. Find it on this one. There it is. Quick memo. One, two, three, go. Style of four loaded. So Cricket took that one. So there's not a lot of difference. We've done enough, we know. There's not a lot of difference between these two phones. Now, I have darkness rises on both of these. Because I like the game. So let's find it over here. There's darkness rises here. And there it is over here. Okay. One, two, three. Now keep in mind, this one has a heavier game file. They're on the same Wi-Fi. I'm not running LTE on either phone. And that one wants to download a patch file. And I don't understand why I'm logged out of this. See, I don't understand what the deal is. One thing I have found that I do like about this, when you're playing a game, you, just, you see this down here, the little menu? You can tap that, it looks like a little controller, and you have these options. Now, I do like that about the stylo, and this one has it too, it's right here. So, I do like that little feature where you can turn off notifications while you're playing the game. That's the only one I turned on, it's the only one that get, uh, you know, bothers me, is I don't want to be playing my game, and somebody texts me and it pops up and blocks my game, and I can't see what I'm doing, and I die. All right, in just a second, we're gonna get into some gameplay comparisons. Which one does better? So 
so now you kind of see where I'm coming from with what I just don't like this style of floor. Every time I try to play a game, it crashes. And, I mean, it might do okay with, like, some kind of a Candy Crush type game. But graphics intensive, action-packed games, like techies like to play, like me, um... Not so much. It's not doing that great. Um, it just cannot support that sort of game platform. I don't know. It just don't do it. Okay, that's the bottom line. It's going to crash. Um, like I say, it kept crashing when I was doing my YouTube live stream with it. The camera, you've seen some pictures from it. I don't like it. Just don't like it. And the Cricut camera is going to be about the same way. Um, the Stylo 4 is not my favorite device. This one right here, I'm getting it unlocked. Um, because it is still locked in the metro. Uh, I'm getting that unlocked and I'm going to give it to my dad for his birthday because this is why. I've given him the phone. I said, here, see if you like it because he has the E5 Cruise and he doesn't like it. Um, he used LG for a long time and he had an LG before that and he likes LGs. He likes the way they're set up. Um, the ease of navigation, that was the biggest trouble he had with the E5 Cruise was the navigation. So I'm going to give him that for his birthday coming up. And uh, part ways with it, very thankfully, I mean, I haven't touched this phone in two days other than to move it, to plug it in, to do this video today. That's how little I like this phone. Um, I found two things that I do like. It's got the knock-on, knock-off feature. I do like that. And it's got the little game feature where you can turn off notifications when you're playing a game. I like that. Other than that... Mm -mm. And for the next person that says you can get the Stylo 4 for free from Metro, you get what you pay for, people. It crashes. It freezes. It crashes. It will go, the screen goes dark when it's loading. And you have to start all over again. What kind of shit is that? I don't like this phone. That's my review on the Stylo 4 from Metro. That's my comparison to the Stylo 4 from Cricut. I'm not even going to shame it with putting it up against my Supra, and it ain't going to hold a candle to my X-Pure. Um, LG did okay with this phone, but um, for people that are going to be doing some gaming, a lot of picture taking, you're going to want a different device. Uh, whether it's the Cricut or the Metro, uh, the camera's not going to be that great. Um, gaming, don't get the Metro version. Uh, the Cricut version does seem to hold up a little better. Of course, it has that extra gig of RAM. It makes a big difference. Um, basic functions of the phone, not a huge difference, nothing to be, you know, really been out of shape over. Um, but for my purposes, it just is, it does, it just don't cut it. it it's just not enough, um, bang from a buck there. Of course, it is free at Metro as everyone is so quick to remind me. It's free with Metro and people, you get what you pay for. My dad will be very happy with it. He calls people on his phone and he texts. There's two apps that he uses and that's it. That's all he does with his phone. So he'll be really happy with it, I think. So happy birthday, Dad. You got a new phone coming to you. And I'm Lady Red saying thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. And uh, subscribe to my channel and leave, ring my bell. Get the notification for all the newest videos. See you in the next one.